Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie to their very first circus. Caillou was very excited. He couldn't wait for the show to begin. When is the circus going to start, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. Get your popcorn. Get your cotton candy. Can I get a snack, please? Sure. What would you like? Caillou loved popcorn, but the cotton candy looked good, too. Both, please? Too much sugar is bad for you, Caillou. You can only have one. I can't choose one. I want both. Caillou wished that he could eat popcorn and cotton candy for dinner instead. Why don't you have a mix of sweet and salted popcorn? That way, each one will be a surprise. That's a brilliant idea! Mmm! I got a sweet one! Thank you! The lights went down and Caillou saw a man in a tall hat standing in the middle of the tent. Who's that, Daddy? That's the ringmaster. He's in charge of the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Magical Marvelous Circus. The first act will be the Clumsy Clowns. Everybody in the audience laughed when one of the clowns played a silly trick on Daddy. It was a pretend flower, Daddy! After the clowns had finished, it was time for the tumbling acrobats, who formed a pyramid in the middle of the ring. Caillou thought the person at the top must be very brave. Finally, came the plate spinners, who balanced plates on tall poles. Caillou was amazed. They didn't drop a single one. Can I be a plate spinner too, Mommy? Oh, yes. I'll get you some plastic ones to practice with on the way home. The circus had finished, and all the performers came out to take a bow. Caillou had loved every minute of it, but now that it was all over, he felt a little sad. Mommy, when we get home, will you help me make my own circus? Of course, Caillou. That sounds like lots of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Caillou's Magical Circus. For my first act, I'll need two assistants. Mommy and Daddy helped Caillou make a pyramid, just like the acrobats in the real circus. He felt very brave being at the top. Watch out, Caillou. Don't drop them. Caillou was very good at plate spinning. He didn't drop a single one though he might have had a little help from Mommy. <laughs> Caillou had something very special planned for his big finale. Be careful, Caillou. That bucket looks very heavy. <gasps> Put it down, Caillou. You could hurt yourself. Look out! Caillou, you tricked us. That was a very clever joke, Caillou. That was the best circus we've ever seen. Great job, Caillou. Caillou had lots of fun making his own circus, and he couldn't wait to show his new trick to all his friends. Caillou and his friends were at the park. Caillou was very excited because today they were going to play soccer. Okay, everyone. Are we ready to play some soccer? We're ready, Grandpa. 
Are you going to be on our team? No, I'm going to be the referee. It's my job to make sure everyone plays by the rules and has fun. I'm going to score a hundred goals. You just might, Leo. But the most important thing is that we all play as a team. The first thing we need to do, though, is to warm up a little. Caillou was a little confused. Warm up? But it's not even cold. This is a different kind of warm up, Caillou. We do it to warm up our muscles. Look, copy what I do. First, we touch our toes. After that, we reach up to the sky. Then, we do a twist to the right, and then a twist to the left. And then finally, we rotate our hips around, like this. That's it, Rosie. We're warming up. Caillou thought warming up was lots of fun. There, finished. Now you're warmed up and ready to play. Let's go. Good luck, Caillou. Okay, everybody ready? Three, two, one. Caillou dribbled the ball down the field. He wanted to score a goal. Over here, Caillou. Pass to me. I'm open, Caillou. Caillou could hear Sarah and Leo calling, but he wanted to score a goal himself. Caillou was very unhappy. He was the one who was supposed to score. Come on, Caillou. Your teammates need you. It's not fair, Grandpa. I wanted to score a goal. Soccer is a team game, Caillou. You, Sarah, Leo, and Clementine have to work as a team and score a goal together. Watch, let me show you. Okay, Caillou, let's see if I can get the ball. Oh no, now Leo has the ball. You see, if you work together as a team, it makes it much easier. Caillou saw that they all had to work as a team. Okay, Grandpa, I think we're ready to play again now. Great! Caillou dribbled the ball towards the goal again. Pass, Caillou! Over here! Caillou stopped dribbling and passed the ball to Leo. Hooray! Hooray! Great job, guys! That was a great goal, Sarah! Thanks, Caillou! We all did it together! Caillou chased after the ball, but it was hard to catch. The other team was passing it around all over the place. Oh no! Great save, Clementine! Thanks! Clementine kicked the ball high into the air, and Caillou and Leo chased after it as fast as they could run. Get ready, Caillou! This was Caillou's chance. He took aim and kicked the soccer ball right into the goal. We did it! We scored another goal! Great job, team. That was a very good goal you scored, Caillou. It wasn't just me, Grandpa. We all had to work as a team. Okay, team. Ready to go again? Yeah! Grandpa looked around for the ball, but he couldn't see it. Hey, has anyone seen the soccer ball? <laughs> Rosie, come back! Caillou was very happy to have scored a goal, but was even happier to be in a team with all his friends. <laughs> 
was a very special day at Caillou's house because today was Mommy and Daddy's wedding anniversary. Caillou was helping Daddy make a special dinner to celebrate. Is it ready yet, Daddy? Almost, Caillou. Just a little while longer. Mmm, it smells yummy. Let's go into the garden, Caillou. We need to pick some vegetables to make a salad. Caillou looked at all the vegetables in the garden. There were lots to choose from. Which vegetables do we need, Daddy? First, we need a nice fresh head of lettuce. Can you see one? Caillou knew that a head of lettuce was round and had big green leaves. Here it is! I found it! Great job, Caillou! How about some juicy tomatoes? Right there! The little red ones! That's right! Okay, the last vegetable we need is a carrot. That's an easy one! Caillou knew that carrots were orange and pointy, but he couldn't see them anywhere. There are no carrots, Daddy! Look down here, Caillou. Carrots grow under the ground. See? Oh! That's where they were hiding! We'll need two carrots to make the salad. Can you pull out another one? I got it! <laughs> Great job, Caillou! That's everything we need. Let's go and see if Mommy needs any help. Mommy and Rosie were in the kitchen. Caillou was excited to show Mommy the carrot he had picked. Look, Mommy, a carrot! I pulled it out of the ground! It looks very tasty. It'll need washing before we can eat it, though. Do you want to help me set the table for our special dinner? Okay! Hold on a minute, Caillou. We have to wash our hands first. My hands are all messy. They're clean now. There we go. Much better. The fork goes on the left. Fork on the left. And the knife goes on the right. And the knife on the right. Nice job, Caillou. I'm all done making the salad, Caillou. Shall we go upstairs and get you changed into your nice clothes? Yay! Caillou liked dressing up in his nice clothes. They made him feel very important. Caillou had enjoyed the special dinner. Everything was so yummy. Happy anniversary. Oh, thank you very much. What is an anniversary, Mommy? An anniversary is a day to celebrate something special. It's been another year since Daddy and I got married. Oh! Daddy had bought Mommy a shiny gold necklace. Caillou thought that it was very beautiful. So pretty, Mommy. Pretty! I think you and Rosie deserve extra big slices of cake for being so helpful today. had loved the special dinner, especially the cake. Caillou and Rosie had spent the whole morning shopping for groceries with Mommy and Daddy. So as a special treat, they had taken them to the toy store to buy one toy each to take home. Wow! Look how many toys there are, Rosie! Toys! Toys! Remember, just one toy each, okay? Look! Squishy balls! They just look like regular balls. What's so special about them? They're really cool. When you squeeze them, they change color. But you never know which color you're going to get. Yellow one. I want yellow one. 
Caillou could see that Rosie was still too little to reach the squishy balls by herself. Here you go, Rosie. Say thank you, Rosie. Thank you. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, squeeze! Wow, you were right, Caillou. They do change color. Is this the toy you want, Caillou? Caillou thought that the squishy balls were really fun, but he wanted to look at some other toys before he made up his mind. Maybe we should look around a bit more first. There might be something better over there. Caillou could see a girl playing with a toy he'd never seen before. Hi! What's that toy you're playing with? It's a fidget spinner. You hold it between your fingers and spin it. Once it's spinning, you can do cool tricks, like balance it on the end of your finger. Here, you try. Caillou took hold of the fidget spinner and spun it between his fingers. He could hear it making a little whizzing sound. Great. Now, try to balance it on one finger. Looks like you need some practice. Never mind, Caillou. Let's try again. Ready? I'm going to let go now. I'm doing it, Mommy! Look how it spins! It's like an airplane! Great job, Caillou. Caillou, come and look at this. It's a spaghetti-making machine. First, we have to choose a color for the spaghetti. But I thought spaghetti was always brown. This is special spaghetti. It can be any color we like. Caillou had never heard of different colored spaghetti before. Wow! Even blue? Of course. Yellow! Yellow! Thank you, Rosie. Now we can have multicolored spaghetti for dinner. Caillou watched as Daddy placed the blue and yellow dough inside the spaghetti machine. It's ready. All you have to do is press down on that lever. Wow! It really does make spaghetti! It looks delicious! <laughs> Sorry, Caillou. It's not real spaghetti. It's just for playing with. <laughs> What's the point of spaghetti if we can't eat it? Whoa! Did you see that? Hi there, I'm Jesse. Hi, I'm Caillou. I was trying to catch that truck, but it was too fast. Oh, you were very close. I almost crashed trying to escape you. So you were driving it! Can you teach me? You make the truck go forward by holding down that button there. And you turn it with those buttons there. Great job, but be careful. If you go too fast, it might crash. Whoops, I'm sorry. That's okay, you almost had it. Help you? There you are, Caillou. You shouldn't run off like that. We didn't know where you were. Sorry. I was learning to drive the truck, but I crashed. Well, at least you're helping clean up the mess you made. Caillou could hear something rattling around inside the eggs. Hey! There's something in there! What is it? It's a surprise. Each egg has a different toy inside, and sometimes it even has sweets and stickers. Caillou thought that the surprise eggs sounded amazing. Mommy, I want a surprise egg! <laughs> Good choice. I think Rosie has decided too. Okay, here I go! What surprise did you get, Caillou? 
I got some colorful sweets, some smiley stickers, and a toy truck! Amazing! Caillou was very happy with his surprise egg. Now he could practice driving at home. Caillou was in the garden, waiting for his friends Leo and Sarah to come over and play. Look who's here, Caillou. <laughs> Hi, Leo. Hi, Sarah. What are those, Leo? These? They're donut seeds. <laughs> donut seeds? How do they work? It's easy. All you have to do is plant them in the ground, and they'll grow into giant donut trees. Caillou hadn't heard of donut trees before. Wow! That's amazing! I can have donuts whenever I want! What happens now? Now we have to water them, of course. What are you doing, Caillou? I need to water the donut seeds so they'll grow into donut trees. Donut seeds? Yeah. Leo gave me these donut seeds. See? Oh, Caillou. I'm afraid your friends might be playing a little April Fool's Day prank on you. What's April Fool's? <laughs> it's a day when friends play tricks on each other for fun. Those donut seeds are just breakfast cereal. <laughs> April Fools! We tricked you, Caillou! Caillou was very disappointed. He was really looking forward to having his own donut tree. I don't like being tricked. It's okay, Caillou. Everyone gets tricked on April Fools' Day. Why don't you try and play a trick on somebody? Okay, I guess I could. Caillou found Rosie in the living room, playing with her building blocks. Hey, maybe I can trick Rosie. Look out, Rosie! There's a spider after you! <laughs> Run, Rosie! It's going to get you! What's all the racket? I was playing an April Fool's Day prank on Rosie. Caillou, that wasn't very nice. Rosie is too small to understand that you were tricking her. Caillou felt sad that he'd upset Rosie. He was only trying to play a prank like Leo and Sarah did. Sorry, Rosie. I didn't mean to upset you. How about you all go into the kitchen? I think Mommy has made you all some special treats. Who wants a lollipop? I do! I do! Wait a minute. This isn't a lollipop. April Fools! Hey, you tricked us, Mommy! <laughs> Would you like a lollipop too, Rosie? Yay, carrot! Caillou had lots of fun learning about April Fool's Day, and he hoped that maybe his donut seeds would grow into a donut tree after all. Today was Halloween. So Mommy and Daddy had invited all of Caillou's friends for a spooky party. Can I have a cupcake, Mommy? Not just yet, Caillou. We have to get them ready for the Halloween party. Oh, all right. Why don't you help me decorate some? Okay. Let's draw a pumpkin. Which color do you think we should use? Orange. Pumpkins are orange, Mommy. That's right, Caillou. Here, you try one. 
I'm going to make the biggest pumpkin ever! Don't squeeze it too hard, Caillou. It was too late. Caillou had squeezed icing all over the kitchen. Oops! Sorry, Mommy. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go and get you changed into your costume. Your party guests will be arriving soon. Caillou found Rosie and Daddy decorating the living room for the party. Hi, Caillou. What do you think of the decorations? Spooky enough for the party? It looks amazing! Caillou suddenly noticed that all of the ghosts had smiley faces. Hey! I thought ghosts were meant to be scary, not happy! Oh! I think Rosie's happy ghosts are perfect for our party. We don't want to get too scared. <laughs> all of Caillou's friends had arrived for the party. They all looked very scary in their Halloween costumes. Roar! Nice pirate costume, Sarah! Yar! Your dinosaur costume is great too, Caillou. Okay, everyone. It's time to play a spooky game. The mystery box. What do we have to do? You put your hand inside the box and touch the spooky thing inside. If you guess it right, you win a prize. Caillou didn't like the sound of touching something spooky, but he did like winning prizes. Yuck! What is it, Caillou? It feels like a bowl of slimy worms! Ew! <laughs> Not quite. Here, take a look. <laughs> oh, it was just spaghetti! Caillou felt relieved that he hadn't touched real worms. Okay, your turn now. Yuck! I think I've got eyeballs! Eek! Mine has a bowl of teeth inside! Gross! It feels like fingers! Fingers? Oh, it's okay. They're just baby carrots. Oh, it wasn't eyeballs. It was just grapes. And the teeth were actually candy corn. Yummy! That wasn't a scary game after all, Mommy. You tricked us! Hey! Who... Who turned out the lights? Mm -hmm. ah, 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 a scary ghost! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou, come back! It's only me! Super scary! I thought you were a real ghost! Me too! I wasn't scared. I knew that it wasn't really a ghost because ghosts aren't real. Hey, where did Leo go? Boo! Ah! A ghost! I guess Rosie's ghosts were scary after all. Today was Leo's birthday, and he had invited Caillou to his birthday party. Good morning, Caillou. It's time to wake up. We need to get ready for Leo's party. It's today! Yes, now up you get. I promised Leo's mommy that we'd make Leo a special birthday cake. Mommy had laid out all of the things they needed to make a special cake for Leo. Okay, Caillou, I'll read the recipe and you can put the ingredients in the bowl. Okay! 
The first thing we need is some sugar and some flour. Caillou found the sugar and the flour and poured them into the bowl. There! What's next? Now we need to add some butter. Oh, there it is! Now we need to add some eggs. I'll help you with those. Eggs can be a little messy if you're not careful. Caillou watched as Mommy took the eggs and gently cracked them into the mixing bowl. Can I try one? Sure. Caillou took the egg and tapped it on the side of the bowl. Hey, it didn't work. Try a little harder, Caillou. Oops, I missed the bowl. That's okay, Caillou. It takes some practice. Caillou watched as Mommy stirred the cake mixture. It looked very tasty. Can I lick the spoon? It looks so yummy. While we wait for the cake to bake, we can go and get you changed into your costume. Caillou and Mommy arrived at the party. Everybody looked very funny in their costumes. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Leo. Happy birthday. Thanks. That's a cool spaceman costume. Thanks. Your night costume is really cool, too. Do you want to give Leo his present, Caillou? Look, Leo, I baked you a cake for your birthday. I decorated it myself. Wow, it looks delicious. Thanks, Caillou. It was time for Leo to blow out his birthday candles. Make a wish, Leo. for the cake, Caillou. It's the best cake I've ever had. <laughs> Caillou was very happy to be at Leo's birthday party. He was especially happy to eat the yummy cake he and Mommy had made. Explorer Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Guys, Caillou, no catch Rosie. Rosie, too fast. Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with cave girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain, past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro... I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea.
Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle, trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand. But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. It was a very special day. Because today, Caillou and his friends were going to an Easter egg hunt in the park. Are you excited for the Easter egg hunt, Caillou? I think so. What do I have to do? Well, the Easter Bunny has been busy hopping around the park, hiding some delicious chocolate eggs for you to find. And it's your job to hunt them all down. Wow! Do we get to eat them all afterwards? Of course you do. Caillou liked the sound of an Easter egg hunt very much. He was sure he'd be able to find the most eggs. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this year's Easter egg hunt. <laughs> okay, are you all ready? On your marks, get set, go! Caillou set off as fast as he could in search of the hidden eggs. Everybody was having lots of fun searching for the chocolate eggs, but Caillou hadn't found any yet. Caillou finally spotted an egg. It was hiding underneath a bush. I found one! Hey! That was my egg! Caillou spotted another egg. This one was hiding on a tree branch. There's another one! <laughs> hey! I found that one first! Caillou was getting very upset. Every time he found an egg, someone else took it first. 
Okay, everyone, come on back now. I think you found all the eggs. Suddenly, Caillou spotted another chocolate egg no one else had seen. He was so excited and took it before anyone else could. That looked like lots of fun. How many eggs did you all find? I found four. I found four as well. What about you, Caillou? How many did you find? Just one. Caillou was very disappointed. All his friends had found lots of eggs, but he'd only found one. Even Rosie <laughs> had found more than him. Don't worry, Caillou. If I give you one of my eggs and Clementine gives you one of hers, then we'll all have three. Yeah, chocolate always tastes better when you share it. Thanks, guys! Are delicious! Caillou thought that the Easter egg hunt was lots of fun. Though he wished he had found more eggs, he was very happy to have friends to share all the chocolate with. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First, we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go. Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops! How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect! Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou! Froggy! <laughs> Oh, look! Rosie's found a frog. We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun. The tent is back up. Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay. Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. 
Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy. Don't eat it. It's mine. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Hmm, it's all gooey inside. Wow, what was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. Today was a very exciting day for Caillou. He and his classmates had gone on a school trip to the aquarium. Keep close, everyone, and stay with your trip buddy. Wow! Caillou looked at all the fish in the tank. There were big ones and small ones, long ones and round ones, and fish in every color imaginable. Caillou thought it was amazing. <laughs> You're my favorite! Caillou, come on! You're going to miss it! Oops, sorry, I'm coming! Goodbye! Wow! This room is even bigger! It's like we're fish underwater. <laughs> it's starting! What is it? Caillou watched as a man swam around with the fish. He thought it looked like lots of fun. Wow! They said that the mask he's wearing helps him to breathe underwater. And the special shoes help him swim like a fish. <laughs> Caillou thought that swimming around with all the fish looked amazing. He imagined what it would be like. Hi there! Have you seen any treasure nearby? Thanks for the help! Look at all this treasure! <laughs> there you are! Caillou? Oh, uh, okay. Caillou loved finding the buried treasure, but he didn't understand why he had to wear the funny coat. Is everyone ready? You might get a little wet. It's time to meet our friend, the sea lion. Caillou loved being a scuba diver and seeing all of the fish, but he loved being a starfish even more. 
It was a beautiful sunny day, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou to the park to enjoy a picnic with his friends. This looks like a good spot to have our picnic. Here I come! Choo-choo! Oh, sorry, Caillou. I didn't see your train coming through. All aboard! Come on, Rosie! Hop on the train! Choo-choo! <laughs> Chugga-chugga-chugga-chugga-choo-choo! Oh, no! Look out! Uh-oh! Where's Rosie gone? <laughs> Again! I know! How about we all play a game of hide-and-seek? Yay! I love hide-and-seek! Let's play in pairs. I'll hide with Rosie, and Clementine, you can hide with Leo. Then, Caillou and Daddy can come and find us. Great idea! Come on, Leo. I know a great place we can hide. Let's go and find a good hiding spot, Rosie. Leo, Clementine, Mommy, and Rosie all hurried off to hide from Daddy and Caillou. Okay, Caillou, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four... Caillou opened his fingers a little. He wanted to see where everyone was hiding. No peeking, Caillou. Sorry. I just wanted to see where they were going. I know, but if we peek, it spoils the game. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're coming. Ready or not. Daddy, I think I saw someone behind that tree. I found you. <laughs> Well done, Caillou. Have you found Leo and Clementine yet? No, not yet. Well, let's keep looking. I'm sure they're close by. Caillou thought he could see something moving behind a park bench. I found you! Aw, you found us. After all this hiding and seeking, you must be hungry. I think we should go and have our picnic. Caillou was sitting on the picnic blanket enjoying his picnic. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! Look how big it is! Mmm! I love watermelon! Oh, no! Oops! Don't worry, Rosie. I'll get you another juice box. Daddy looked in the picnic basket for another juice box, but they were all gone. Oh, no. There's none left. It's okay, Rosie. You can share mine. What a good brother you are, Caillou. Oh, no. Ants. They're on me. They're on me. Me, too. It's okay, Caillou. They're just after Rosie's spilled juice. Look. Let's move to another spot. We don't want ants in our sandwiches. Look, Rosie. Your juice wasn't wasted. Now it's a yummy treat for the ants. Caillou thought that the ants would be good at playing hide-and-seek, especially if they were looking for yummy treats. Today, Caillou was going on a holiday trip. He was very excited. He had never been inside an airplane before. The plane's so big, Mommy. Much bigger than the ones up in the sky. <laughs> it looks bigger because you're closer to it, Caillou. Come on, we have to find our seats. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your flight today. What's your name? I'm Caillou, and this is my sister Rosie. We've never been on an airplane before. Airplane! <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, Caillou and Rosie. Let me show you where your seats are. Here we are. Can I sit by the window, Mommy? Of course, Caillou. 
You can sit next to the window too, Rosie. You have to put your seatbelt on before we take off. Let me know if you need anything. Caillou tried to put on his seatbelt, but it was a little tricky. Do you need some help putting your seatbelt on, Caillou? No, I can do it. Uh, uh, maybe just a little help. Hello, everyone. This is your captain speaking. We're ready for takeoff, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Look! We're flying, Mommy! Caillou watched as the ground got further and further away. Soon, he could see the whole town below him. Look at all the houses! They're so small! Can you see our house, Caillou? Caillou wanted to get a better look out the window, but his seatbelt was holding him down. Sorry, Caillou, but you have to keep your seatbelt on until the captain turns off the seatbelt light. Where is the captain? The captain is in the cockpit flying the plane. I wish I could be a captain and fly the plane. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, Caillou. Caillou looked back out of the window, but his town had disappeared. <gasps> Everything was gray now. Hey, where did our town go? We're going through the clouds, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou was amazed. Wow. It had been so wet and gray at the airport, but now it was bright and sunny. Wow! It's all sunny! It's always sunny above the clouds. The clouds look like mountains, Mommy. That's right. They do. Look, Caillou. The captain says it's safe to take our seatbelts off now. Hi, Caillou. I hope you're hungry. We get lunch in the sky? You sure do. Here you go, Caillou. Wow! I get my own little table, too. Airplanes are the best! Hello again, everyone. We're going to be landing very soon. I hope everyone is looking forward to their holiday trips. Caillou saw that the captain had turned the seatbelt light on. Look, Mommy, I did it by myself. Great job, Caillou. I can see our town again. <laughs> That's a different town, Caillou. We're flying over a different country. Hi. You must be Caillou and Rosie. Did you enjoy your first flight? Yes, it was amazing! Ooh, airplane! Somebody told me that you wanted to fly the plane. Can I? <laughs> when you're older, for sure. But for now, I'd like to make you and Rosie honorary pilots. Thank you! I hope you enjoy your holiday. Caillou was very excited to start his holiday but he really couldn't wait to fly back on the airplane again. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates, and Leo had stolen his ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <sighs> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. <gasps> Here.
careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. <laughs> and some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. <gasps> See, you pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end, like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. That was awesome. Thanks. At recess, I'll show you how to... Caillou, listen up. I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight. Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou, there's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. Caillou was at the beach with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Daddy was going to take him exploring. Ready to explore the rock pools, Caillou? Where did the rock pools come from? They weren't here last time. They were, Caillou. You just couldn't see them because they were hidden under the sea. When the tide goes out, little bits of the sea are left among the rocks, including any sea creatures that were hiding there. Caillou wasn't sure he liked the sound of hidden sea creatures. But what if we find something scary, like a big shark? Don't worry, Caillou. There won't be any sharks. Follow me. You promise? I promise, Caillou. But be careful. Some of these rocks might be a little slippery. Have fun, Caillou, and be careful. Rosie and I are going to write a message in the sand to show you when you get back. Okay, Mommy. See anything in this one, Caillou? Caillou looked very carefully, but he couldn't see any creatures. No, it's empty. It's okay. Let's keep exploring. What about this one? I saw something! It was a shark! <laughs> I don't think it was a shark, Caillou. Come and take another look. Caillou looked again. It wasn't a shark after all. Oh, it's just a little fish! And look, there's another one and another! There's too many to count! The fish will be able to get back to the sea once the tide comes back, won't they? That's right, Caillou. You're a very good explorer. 
Shall we see what else we can find? Caillou waved goodbye to the fish and went off in search of more creatures. Caillou was taking extra careful steps. He didn't want to slip over and get his shorts wet. Wow! Caillou, come and see this! At the bottom of the pool, Caillou saw something very strange. Daddy, that's not a creature. It's just a flower. But flowers don't grow underwater, do they? It may look a bit like a flower, Caillou, but it's actually a little animal called a sea anemone. An... 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 Anemone. Anemone. You got it. Caillou thought the sea anemone was the strangest thing he'd ever seen. Daddy, help! It's got me! <laughs> Hold still, Caillou. It's not trying to hurt you, see? It's just a friendly sea snail. It felt really slimy. <laughs> Well spotted, Caillou. It's a little crab. Caillou liked how the crab moved from side to side. It was dancing. Look, Daddy, I'm a crab. Crabs can live on the land and in the sea. Want to take a closer look? Yes, please. Careful, Daddy. It's okay, Caillou. I just got to try and avoid his... Claws. Does it hurt, Daddy? No, not really. He's only very small. Of all the sea creatures Caillou had seen that day, the crab was his absolute favorite. Well, we better get going, Caillou. The tide will be coming back soon, and we don't want to get wet feet. Goodbye, Mr. Crab. Mommy! Oh, hey, Caillou. So... How were the rock pools? I saw all kinds of sea creatures. My favorite was the crab. Look! That's great, Caillou. Well, Rosie and I were busy, too. Wow! That's your name, Rosie. And that one's my name. I've been teaching Rosie her letters. That's great, Rosie. Now all the sea creatures I met will be able to read our names, too! Oh no! A crab! <laughs> hey! <laughs> snap! Snap! <laughs> Caillou loved meeting all of the sea creatures in the rock pools. Learning at the beach was lots of fun. Caillou was very excited because today, Daddy was going to help him and Leo build a special project for the science fair. Okay, I think we have everything we need. What are we building, Daddy? A spaceship? Not exactly. We're going to make a volcano. Cool! Volcanoes are awesome. I saw one on TV once. How does it work? I'll show you. Caillou watched as Daddy poured some liquid inside one of the soda bottles. What's that stuff? It's vinegar and red food coloring. We're going to use it to make lava. It doesn't look like lava. No? Well, watch this. Wow! That was amazing! Yeah! Just like real lava! Now we can make a real volcano. First, we need to glue a soda bottle onto the cardboard. Like this? Perfect. Next, we need to add some scrunched up newspaper around it. Caillou and Leo scrunched up the sheets of newspaper, and with Daddy's help, glued them around the bottle. Great job! Now it's time for the messy part. Take a strip of newspaper and dip it in the bowl. Then, 
lay it on the sides of the volcano like this. Caillou and Leo did what Daddy had showed them and stuck down all the sticky bits of paper to make the volcano. Great job, guys. We're almost finished. Now we just need to paint it. We can use brown for the mountain, green for the grass. Yeah, and we can use some red around the top for the lava. Making volcanoes is fun. Caillou and Leo had lots of fun with the paints. It looked just like a real volcano. Great job, guys. I can't wait to see it in action tomorrow at the science fair. It was the day of the science fair, and Caillou and Leo were ready to present their volcano. Hello, everyone. I'd like to show you the volcano that Leo and I made. A volcano is kind of like a mountain with a chimney in the middle. When the volcano has too much lava inside, it pops out the top, like this. Caillou had lots of fun making the <laughs> volcano with Daddy and Leo. Ta-da! <laughs> he hoped that maybe one day he could see a real volcano, but maybe from a safer distance next time. <laughs> Caillou is going swimming with Mommy and Daddy. Here we are, Caillou. Are you ready to practice your swimming? Caillou checked that he was wearing both his armbands. They would help him stay afloat. Yup! Caillou looked around and was very excited to see a slide leading right into the pool. Look, Mommy, a slide! Wait, Caillou! Caillou, you mustn't run at the pool. It can be very wet and you could slip and fall down. Look here. See, rule number one, no running. Caillou wanted to be safe at the pool. Sorry, I just wanted to see the slide. It's okay, Caillou. Now, let's take a look. Caillou climbed up the ladder and sat at the top of the slide. Come on, Caillou. I'll be right here to catch you when you land in the pool. Caillou looked down at Mommy in the pool. But now he was up here, it looked an awfully long way to the bottom. I got too scared. It was a lot higher than I thought it would be. Never mind, Caillou. Let's go into the pool from the shallow end. Caillou climbed down the ladder into the pool to join Daddy. That water was just the right height for him to stand on the bottom. Better? Much better. Look, Mommy, I'm swimming! Very good, Caillou. How about you try to swim to Daddy? Caillou swam towards Daddy. That's it, Caillou. Just a little further. I made it all by myself! You certainly did. Caillou watched as Mommy swam under the water. He was very impressed. Ta-da! Caillou wanted to try and swim underwater, too, but his armbands wouldn't let him sink. Caillou, you can't go underwater with your armbands on. Shall I hold on to them for you? Caillou wasn't ready to take off his armbands just yet. It's okay. I'll go under the water another day. <laughs> hey, no running! Hi there. What's your name? Caillou! Hi, Caillou. I'm the lifeguard. My job is to make sure everyone is safe at the pool. If I see anyone being unsafe, I blow this whistle. I saw those children running over there. That's against the rules. That's right. And thank you for calling out to them. Caillou remembered what Daddy told him about running at the pool. If you run at the pool, you could slip and fall over. Exactly. Here. Now you can be a lifeguard, too. 
but only blow it if you see someone breaking the rules, okay? Caillou felt very proud to be a lifeguard. Say, have you tried the water slide yet? It's lots of fun. I tried, but I got scared. It's okay to be scared, but a brave lifeguard like you has nothing to worry about. Well, I guess I could have another try. Great, and don't worry, I'll be watching to make sure nothing unexpected happens. Caillou climbed up the ladder once more. It still looked a long way down. I'm here, Caillou. Caillou was ready. He counted to three and then pushed himself down the slide. One, two, three! Oh, Caillou, you did it! What a brave lifeguard you are! That was amazing! Did you see the big splash I made? Can I do it again? Daddy, the pool rules said no grown-ups on the slide! Caillou was very happy. He would never be scared to go down the slide at the pool again. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a special trip to the lake to celebrate the 4th of July. Caillou could see lots of people enjoying themselves. Who are all these people, Mommy? They're here for the party, Caillou. Today is a special day where people get together to celebrate and have fun. Caillou saw a group of children playing a game of tag. They all had their faces painted like different animals. Can I get my face painted too, Mommy? Of course you can, but how about we go for a swim first? Caillou had lots of fun playing in the water with Rosie. Look, Mommy! Rosie and I are being fish! There. Are you here to have your faces painted? Yes, please. I want to be a bear just like my teddy. Great choice. Now hold still. Caillou tried his best to stay still while the nice lady painted his face, but the brush was very ticklish. <laughs> hey, that tickles! Almost finished. There! Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. He looked just like Teddy. <laughs> Look! I'm a teddy bear! Who wants a hot dog? I do! I do! Hello there! What can I get you? We'll have four hot dogs, please. Coming right up. Here you go. Help yourself to ketchup and mustard. Thank you. Can you help me with the sauces, Caillou? Okay. Caillou squeezed as hard as he could, but the ketchup wouldn't come out. It's not working. You have to twist the top, Caillou. Oh, I see. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it was time for the firework display. Caillou was very excited. Are the fireworks going to start soon, Daddy? Any minute now, Caillou. Just keep watching. It's starting! Caillou had a wonderful day <laughs> celebrating with Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. He couldn't wait to do it all again next year. Caillou was going to a food fair in the park with Grandma and Grandpa. Wow! Look at all the food, Grandpa! That's right, Caillou. This is called a World Food Fair. The people here are making food from all different countries, Caillou. It's a great chance for you to try some food you might not have tasted before. Caillou could smell all kinds of unusual things, but he didn't know what they all were. 
What can you smell, Caillou? I'm not sure, but it smells yummy. Well, come on then. You lead the way. My tummy is starting to rumble. Well, hello there. How can I help you today? Hello, this is my grandson, Caillou. He's going to try some food from around the world. Well, Caillou, you've come to the right place. Have you tried a taco before? Caillou thought about all the nice food Mommy and Daddy made for him at home, but he couldn't remember having tried a taco before. I don't think so. What is it? A taco has a hard, crunchy shell on the outside and a tasty filling on the inside. Mmm. Well, that settles it. One taco, please. Here you go, Caillou. Now be careful, Caillou. Make sure you don't squeeze it too hard. Oh, dear. Caillou's taco had broken. It had looked so yummy, and he didn't even get to try one bite. That can happen with tacos. Here, have another one on the house. Thank you. Remember to be careful this time. Try not to squeeze it so hard. Caillou held the taco very carefully in his hands and took a bite. Mmm, it's really good. Caillou thought that tacos were very tasty, and he liked the way the outside crunched. It's crunchy. Here, try some. Okay, Caillou, where to next? A woman at the next stall was stirring something in a large metal pot. Caillou wondered what it could be. Hello, this is Caillou. He is trying different food today. Very nice to meet you, Caillou. What are you stirring? It's a curry. Curry is a very popular food in a country called India and it's full of all kinds of interesting spices. This one is spicy, and this one is mild. Caillou hadn't heard of India or curry before. India? Where's that, Grandpa? <laughs> India is a country on the other side of the world, Caillou. Can we have one spicy and one mild, please? Thank you. I'll try the spicy one. Mmm, just right. Caillou noticed that Grandpa's face had started to turn red. What's the matter, Grandpa? <laughs> that spicy curry is too hot for your Grandpa, Caillou. Here, try this. It's a drink made with yogurt called a lassi. It'll help you cool your mouth down. <laughs> Thank you. That's much better. That spicy curry sounds scary. Caillou wanted to try all of the food, but he didn't want to eat anything too spicy. Don't worry, Caillou. This one is only a tiny little bit spicy. I promise. Caillou felt a little tingling in his mouth from the spices, but it didn't make his face turn red like Grandpa. It's not too spicy at all. I think I should have the mild one next time as well. Thank you for the curry. Hello. Care to try some sushi? Mmm, my favorite. Sushi? That's right. Sushi is from a country called Japan. It's usually made with rice and raw fish. Caillou didn't like the sound of raw fish one bit. Raw fish? Yuck! Can we have three pieces, please? One for me, one for Grandma, and one for Caillou. Give it a try. You never know. It might be your new favorite. It's too weird. I can't eat it, Grandpa. That doesn't matter, Caillou. Different people like different foods. I know. How about you and Grandma go find a picnic bench, and I'll bring you something I know you'll love. Grandpa had brought Caillou something, but he was keeping it a secret. What have you got, Grandpa? You'll have to guess. Caillou liked guessing. Okay. What if I told you that it's made by mixing flour, eggs, and water? Okay. Well, what if I told you that this food comes from a country called Italy? Oh, I know! Pizza! 
Almost. How about if I told you that this was your most favorite food in the world? Caillou knew what Grandpa was hiding. It's spaghetti! That's right! That is my favorite! Yummy! Caillou had lots of fun trying the different kinds of food at the fair, but he really loved his spaghetti. Today, Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie on a trip to the theme park. Caillou was so excited. Theme parks were the most fun places in the world. This is going to be the best day ever! It was hard for Caillou to decide which ride he wanted to go on first. So Daddy suggested they try the roller coaster. You need to stand next to this measuring stick, Caillou. Why? We have to check if you're tall enough to go on the ride. Am I tall enough? Yep. Rosie wanted to go on the roller coaster too, but she was still too little. Don't worry, Rosie. There's lots of other fun rides you can go on. Ready, Caillou? Ready! <laughs> the roller coaster slowly began to move forwards. It went higher and higher and higher. We're getting really high. I know. We can see the whole park from up here. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. Here, hold my hand. The roller coaster was really fast. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> Caillou could feel the wind blowing against his face as they zoomed around. <laughs> this is Ooh. awesome! Did you see me? I put my hands in the air! I saw Caillou. You were very brave. Caillou and Rosie <laughs> found a great place for a photo. Look, Mommy! Rosie can go on the roller coaster after all! Wow! You look like you're going really fast! That's right, Rosie. Shall we have a go? Ready, Rosie? <laughs> Here we go. Giddy up, Rosie. I'll race you to the finish line. Caillou <laughs> had lots of fun on the big roller coaster, but he loved going on the carousel with Rosie and his family just as much. <laughs> 